<clears throat> oh, oh. Caught a chest here. We'll get that adjusted. <clears throat> you know what you need to buy more tools? Money. You know what you need to make improvements to your shop? Money. You know what people are spending in the upcoming Thanksgiving and Christmas season? Money boy. I have three, maybe four. I don't know yet. I'm kind of doing this as I go. Three to four items that you could build to make extra money. And one thing you could do that requires a little bit of an investment from you to make your product stand out even more. And I'll start out with that first. So to start, laser engraving makes a massive difference in some of the products you can make. And I'm not talking about a Glowforge. I'm not talking about spending $3,000. I'm not talking about spending $1,000. I'm not even talking about spending $900. Last year we bought, let me get it. This is an Ortor Laser Master 2 Pro. Now I spent $500 on this last year around Thanksgiving and the reason for that I had an attorney reach out to me he wanted butcher blocks that he had his clients named engraved on the blocks themselves now he ordered 10 blocks at $220 a piece so right off the bat I made well over what this engraver costed me even including the price of material that I bought to make the butcher block so if you want to stand out a cheap laser engraver that you could Pick up, set out wherever you need to use it. Ortor Laser Master 2 Pro. I've had it for a year. It works great for what I use it for. Now, let's get into what you could build and some of the things you could kind of put on your work that'll help it stand out and help it sell quickly. So, the first item on the list will obviously be the cutting board slash butcher block. Like I said, I have an attorney that he ordered just a ton of butcher blocks. Even after the Christmas season, he ordered around 10 10 or 12 something like that for Christmas and now sold them for 220 a pop and then later on he ordered another uh, I believe it was eight or nine so it was recurring revenue he ordered that a few months later same thing with cutting boards now this one's not engraved we made some I made a stockpile of cutting boards to get ready for the Christmas season a lot of people like to have these personalized so when you make them go ahead and personalize one or two and put those pictures on your Facebook and people will reach out to you you pretty much name your price now for a basic cutting board I guess this is an edge grain butcher block I'll sell this for 75 and then add 20 bucks if they want it personalized and they sell like crazy especially right before Thanksgiving here's a picture of a personalized cutting board Here's another picture of a personalized cutting board. I don't think I have any more pictures of any personalized cutting boards. The next item, number two, and I wish I would have did this last year because I threw away a lot of scrap wood. When you make your cutting boards you and butcher blocks, you have a lot of scrap, you have a lot of cutoffs. I burned them last year. This year, we took the cutoffs and make coasters. Now for your quick reference, this size is 5 eighths thick, 3 and a half inch by 3 and a half inch. Perfect size for a coaster. Now what we did, I don't know if you can see it, we went ahead and personalized just a bunch of different designs, whatever you could think of, and we've already sold buku of these. Now we have stacks and stacks with different designs. Uh, we have magnolias, stuff like that these are going to sell like crazy when we get closer to thanksgiving they're already selling now and i am selling these for 25 bucks for a set of four and like i said these are already cut off so all i do is rip them down cut them to size and when they're getting engraved that's so you can walk away and work on other things so it's making money while you're not sitting there working on i'm trying to do this fast because this microphone i like it i think it's working pretty good i got a new one my last video kind of sucked, but it picks up a lot of noise, so I turned off my AC. I want to make this a little bit quicker so that I can get to the next video, which is going to be barn doors. We're making barn doors for a client. 
small shop. I can't put nothing in here. So the next one, especially around Christmas, last year these sold like bananas. We took some scrap reclaimed wood, nativity. We made a nativity scene, put our logo on the back. These sold last year. Now I had a four by four block that we sold and we sold them for 40 bucks last year. This year we're gonna let these go for 25 because it's not the four by four. They're hanging 25. It takes about, I would say 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes to get this engraving on there. But like I said, you set it and you walk away from it. And if it doesn't come out right the first time, you just hit replay and you run the same program again. And it's super simple to do. I'm gonna tell you how simple it is to do. I know absolutely nothing about engraving. Now, when we got the engraver, you also have to get the program. We use Lightburn. Super easy to use. It costs a little bit of money, like I think $75, maybe $100. But you're going to make that money back right off the bat. It is so easy to use that my 13-year-old daughter started doing jewelry with the laser engraver, little wood tag circles. She's engraving all kinds of stuff, and she's making money with the engraver, doing her own designs, and she's 13 years old. I'm, I think, I think it'd be better if I brag about me being able to do it, because I'm not so tech savvy. So it's so easy that I easily was able to pick up and start engraving stuff from day one. It's easy to put together. It's easy to use. Don't be intimidated by it. If you have the extra money to buy it, it's a good idea to buy it, because it will pay itself off a hundred times over next up charcuterie boards now this is our first year doing a design like this the paddle design but we're trying out this design we had a lot of interest in it charcuterie boards are really big like i said around thanksgiving and they're super simple here's a picture maybe another picture we did a lot of charcuterie boards last year and I did it to where all I had to do was cut my board to size, drill a hole, round over, sand it, finish it. And I had a stack, I mean a stack of charcuterie boards in my shop that sold within a week. I mean, we made a killing on charcuterie boards. Here's another idea for a style. This one sold, really easy to do. If you have a hole drill, you already have what you need. This is Sapele, I believe. And I would say it's about 24 inches long. Super simple. Oh my gosh. I just nicked the edge of that charcuterie board. I had to fix it. But anyway, super simple, super simple projects. I like for these type of things, I like the lowest amount of labor with a decent profit margin. I was able to build... Uh, with this style, this style block, this is beech and cherry wood. I was able to build 14 cutting boards just on the side. You glue it up, go do something else. When it glues dry, you plane it down, go do something else, right? All right, that's not right. When the glue dries, you plane it down, you cut it down to size, sand it. It's minimal, minimal labor. 14 boards. I had $170 in material. We'll make about $1,200, $1,300. Not, not a lot of expense. Really not a lot of time. I like low labor for craft type items. I like low labor. Not a lot of time involved. Not a lot of thought needed. Knock them out. Put them on the side. Stock them. And then when the season comes, they're all going to be gone. And we're going to be sitting on a fat stack of cash, boy! And this video is very disorganized, but get your laser engraver. They're cheap. The new one, now I'm about to get another one. We're actually about to start a whole nother business doing just the engraving. Because there's, you, you can make some money with a laser engraver. Especially when you kind of team it up with woodworking. You don't have to get a Glowforge. Get you a cheap one. Now, the Ortor Master 3 Pro, I believe that's going for seven or $800. Um, the Ortor Master 2 Pro, did excellent. It's been excellent. We haven't had any issues with it. And like I said, we only paid 500 bucks. So cutting boards, butcher blocks, charcuterie boards, coasters, 
all easy, super simple things to make that people just go bananas for during the holiday season. You can get started right now and you can build you a nice stockpile to get ready for that upcoming season, especially if you can personalize. You will sell like crazy. And so I kind of rushed this video because I'm about to start building some barn doors. You can't see the wood. And I don't think you want me to keep moving you. We're about to build some barn doors for a client, which I will film that process. How to do barn doors. That's also a good money maker. Depending on what area you're in. Right now, my area, barn doors, pretty hot. So we're doing some barn doors for a client. If you like the content, especially if you make money, I'll follow these ideas. If you make some money following this idea, you better subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I'm giving away a free Festool Domino Joiner. When I hit a thousand subscribers, if you want a chance to win, subscribe, like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you like the content, if you're, I know a lot of people say make cutting boards, but if a lot of people are saying they're making money with it, it's probably a good idea to do it. Unless you're a bigger shop, you don't need the extra money. And while you're watching my videos, go look in the description and click on some of the playlists that I have down there. Go binge watch the content. That's helping to push the content and get more subscribers. The quicker we get to a thousand, the quicker we see who gets the domino joiner. Let me go tend to them cheering. Thank you for watching.